competitor points to talk about. That's right. And actually, some of the stuff is actually good, and I'm kind of hyped for it now because for a while, predator plants haven't been getting any support, if any decent support. I mean, the archetype is interesting at the very least, but I, I, I mean, it, it was looking for pretty abysmal for uh, for a while. But I think here it's really gonna kick, kick up for enough. So I think we got a few cards here. We got like a four. I think like. Uh, five or six cards here. So, the first card here is a predator plant, Dro Drosophyllum Hydra. It is a dark plant, uh, level five, eight hundred attack, twenty three hundred defense. So the stats on this card are mainly in the defensive side. You're going to be playing this card in defense mode all all the time. Uh, so far, we haven't really seen a seen a highly statted um, uh, predator plant. That's not a fusion. So hopefully that'll change around or go around. So the first effect is you can special summon this card from your hand. Uh, special summon this card from your hand or graveyard by trading one monster with predator counters on the field. You can only special summon this card once a turn, so it gives you a free way to summon this card immediately out of the out of the gate. Um, you don't really have to worry about it. It's really good, actually. I think. And uh, the second effect is during either player's turn, if this card is sent is in your field or graveyard, you can banish one predator plant. Um, a monster in your uh, graveyard um, except this card then target one monster on the field it loses 500 attack if you uh, only use this effect uh, uh, you can only use this effect once a turn so you can only decrease the stat of a monster once a turn that's not really important I think you're going to be playing this card mainly to special summon it from the graveyard you're not really going to use this effect to um, the second effect all too often I don't think um, but it is a good monster, I think, uh, despite the stats being low in the attack category, but that's fine. And the next pred uh, predator plant is Predator Plant Saracent. It is a dark plant, like always, level 1, 100, 100 attack, and 600 defense. Uh, when an opponent's monster clears on a direct attack, you can special summon this card from your hand. So, um... If your opponent's going to go for a game, well, this card kind of acts as defense. It has three effects, by the way, so the effects have to be relatively decent. So after damage calculations in which this card battled an opponent's monster, you could destroy that monster. Um, so basically, if this card, if you, you play this card in attack mode or you play this card in, defen in defense mode, um, and then your opponent kills it, it immediately kills the monster that attacked into it. So they're going to have to think about what monster they sent right into it um, because it... It, 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 if they don't want their strongest monster to immediately die, and plus this effect doesn't really target, it just destroys it on impact, so it's a good effect. And the third effect is if this card is sent fr from the field to the graveyard by a card effect, or it is destroyed by bat uh, destroyed in battle, you can add one predator card from your deck to your hand, except this card. You only use this effect once a turn, so it's pretty. this is a pretty good effect simply because it allows you to search out a predator card from your deck. Um, it can add it, to your hand. It, it can be a um, spell and trap as well, so it's not limited to that. So I think that's a really, good, really good effect. And the second is um, Predator Plant Spino uh, DNA, um, Diode. Uh, um, Eighteen hundred attack, level four, zero defense. So actually, the effect of this card or the stats on this card are pretty aggressive. Uh, Eighteen hundred though is not. The highest stat amount, but it is a decent stat, stat amount. You're gonna you could play this in attack mode more more efficiently. So it has two effects. The first effect is if this card is normal summon or, or special summon, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls. Place one predator count uh, predator counter on it. Level two or higher monster uh, monsters with predator um, um, predator uh, counters become level one. So this is a really, really good effect um, not, uh, because it allows you to just immediately place a predator co uh, counter on a monster, which is a really good effect because it allows you to um, sip th uh, allow you to play other cards with this card that is generally unplayable otherwise. Because I don't, I wasn't actually really sure how you play uh, or how you put the predator co counters on it. So it's really good that we're getting a card that automatically generates that effect. So you're going to be playing this card at least a three of, and it's also not once a turn. So if you just so happen to special summon three of these cards, you're going to get three predator uh, counters on, on three monsters or one monster or however many, um, or two monsters or whatever, you know, it's going to be distributed among those. And the second effect is after damage calculations in which this card battled an opponent's monster with a level equal or lower than this card, 
Um, you can special summon one Predator Plant monster from your deck, except this card. So this card is really good, or this effect is really really good, simply because it will um, it will always battle a monster that is level low, that is lower level than this one, because any um, level two or higher Predator Plant monster or, or card with a Predator counter becomes level one. So. You're going to swing into it, even if it dies, which because it's still after the damage calculations, right? You still get to special summon a Predator Plant from your deck for free, which is really good, I think. I think this effect is really good. You're going to play this card at three. Um, so <clears throat> it is looking on the up and up for the most part. Like With these two cards alone are really good. And the third card is a spell. Um, it is a it is an equip it is a, it's an equip spell. Target one Predator Plant monster in your graveyard, special summon it, then equip this card to this card. Uh, when this card is just leaves a field, destroy that monster. So it is a premature burial minus 800 life point spending for predator plants, which is a good effect generally. Um, I think that I think you're also going to be playing this with this at three. I think if archetype specific premature burials exist, I think it's fair enough um, because premature burial by itself is inherently unfair. I think, um, <coughs> but like but Satellites can never get their own uh, their own. Uh, premature burial for, for reasons um but still i think that this is a very good effect this is a very good card and the last card here is a, is a trap card it is predator planet that's actually a really really good name for a card i actually like the name of this card it's a continuous trap card it has two effects the first effect is if a monsters with predator uh, counter leaves the field while you control this card in your spell and trap card zone, you can add one predator card from your deck to your hand. You only use this effect once per, once per turn, so it lets you add uh, other cards. It lets you add this card, by the way. It's not restricting itself. You can also add the card that we just talked about. You can add Spinos, um, which is really good. So I think this is a really good, really, really good effect effect um you can manage this card from your graveyard as fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using only predator plant monsters in your hand or field as fusion materials now keep in mind it is not as good as wind witch where it just does it from the great or not wind witch uh uh ostella ostella whatever it's called uh, that just does it from the from the deck, but it is a very very good effect, and also it doesn't have the the, the standard breakthrough skill clause where you have to wait for it to kind of be efficient. You can't you don't have to wait. You could do it at any point in the game. You could do it when it immediately when it sends sent the graveyard. So it's a pretty good effect. I think these these rounds of this round of, of predator plant cards is really really good. I think it it around it really puts the deck up onto a better tier list than I originally suspected it would be, which I thought it would actually be lower than tier three um mainly because of the fact that it w didn't have very many good support cards and actually some of these cards kind of give you a reason to play some of the other plundered plant monsters that i originally wrote off as not very good like the one that was that has 300 attack that does something when it when it uh does battle damage you can actually use this card this effect uh, quite efficiently uh, you can use some of these effects quite efficient, efficiently to deal some damage with that card, and then fusion summon with predator plant, uh, predator a uh, planet. So, I think this card is really good. Uh, these these set, this set of cards are really really good. I really hope to see what they do with this archetype because I'm really interested in this archetype because I like plant monsters um, a lot. Actually, I think they're one of the most under under supported archetypes or type uh, types in the game. Other than like, because I like Sylvans, I like Sylvans, and this is a really good deck. Uh, or this is a really good uh, kind of jump from Sylvan's in a, in a way, kind of differently, but it is. Um, so anyway, guys, tell me what you guys think about these cards in the comment section down below. I will see you in the next video. This has been Team Menobuffo signing off.